Mile at St. John Arena. Happy to be joined by the head coach of the Buckeyes, Ryan Day. There, there's so much pageantry, tradition around a big game here. All right, now, I know some weeks you do, some weeks you don't. Are you speaking in spell session today? Yes, yes. Okay. All right. Yep. How much planning, how much thought goes into what you're going to say ahead of time? Well, we start off by having one of the uh, the players get up there and say something, and then we have an assistant coach say something, and then I go up there and finish it off. It's usually pretty quick. What's by the then, theme? they're ready to move on. Come on, Ryan. What's the theme? What are you saying? You're going to fire them up? Well, I, it's just that, you know, this is why you come to Ohio State for games like this. You'll be working all year to get to November to play for a championship, and here we are. Ryan, I want to ask you about, Des and I were talking in the first segment about the importance of every week in November and yeah. how fans want to look ahead. And right. coaches, you got to be right here. Talk about the challenge of that with all the noise on the outside and people talking about the playoff or right. Michigan or whatever it might be. You got to get you, you guys locked in every week. Yeah, and, and when you looked at the season, you know, those last six games, we knew that it was going to be week after week. You have to bring it. And nothing matters other than winning the next game and keeping right. guys really locked in. And it's, it's, a, it's a battle of the mind, of the body, and the soul to bring it every single week week because you know the conference is so strong this mm -hmm. year and that's been a challenge especially with some of the younger guys on our team that, that have learned but I, I think we've had a really good week of practice and the focus has been really good good coach as we watch the season unfold some teams get stronger some teams start to falter a little bit seems like your team is getting a lot stronger explain to us the difference between a team that walked in the shoe against yeah. Oregon and lost that game and a team that's walking in the shoe today to take on the Spartans yeah I, I think we're such a different team you know we were so inexperienced going into the season and then we've been through a lot this year yeah you know and, and and I think about the seniors who are playing their last game in here. Yeah. They've been through a lot for the last four years. And I think the combination of the experience and some of the youth has come together in the middle of the season. Yep. And, you know, I talked to the team. It, you know, it's not about being the best team. It's about playing the best today. And that that's where the focus has got to be. I, I think we've had a really good you know, week of practice. And really, you know, I think we're ready to roll. Gotcha. You, you've had Dwayne Haskins and, and you, obviously Justin Fields over the last couple of years. Now you have CJ. For fans out there, what have you seen now 10 games in that maybe you didn't know about? before the Minnesota game and now you've learned to come to appreciate about his game. Well, first off, uh, you know, he hadn't thrown a college football pass <laughs> right. going into the first game. Right. So it was a lot of questions. But, you know, over time, he's just built experience. And, and I think his preparation has been off the charts. I think the guys on the team believe in him. Uh, I think he's a highly competitive guy who's really kept things really poised. Mm -hmm. And he's really just focused on one week at a time and not really let a lot of the distractions. Because around here, there's a lot that comes with being the quarterback at Ohio State. Absolutely. Coach, what, what role do you see special teams playing in a game like this? Because I think both offenses are very explosive, yeah. great dynamic running backs, excellent receivers. What role do you see special teams playing in this game today? You know, I think when you get in a tighter game, special teams, you know, really add to the forefront because of the field position, in yeah. the battle of field position. So, you know, our starting uh, field position has got to be better than theirs, so whatever that means. Certainly, if you can, uh, you know, steal a possession here or there, you know, both sides, that's what they're trying to do. But in the coverage game, we got to do a great job. They're you know, one of the top teams in terms of returning punts in the exactly. country. They do yeah. a great job. So in the bigger games, it becomes even more and more important. Yep. And, and finally, I know you've got to take off. What's your impression of what you've seen from Kenneth Walker the third, and what you'll need to do against him today? Yeah, he's a very good back, and he's run uh, really well. You know, he makes a lot of guys miss. So, you know, we're going to – it's a big challenge for our defense. All right. These guys are ready for you, Ryan. You're yeah, going to fire go. them up before you go to skull session. <laughs> <Good point. laughs> you know, let's go. I think they're fired up let's enough. Let's go. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.